What I'm going to do now is to just close this browser and then open my terminal and I'm going to zoom in a little and I'm just going to navigate to the folder where I want to create the project. So that's going to be my documents. And in there, I'm going to create another folder. So I'm going to do NK there and that's going to be Node.js API. And then I'm going to go inside of this folder and you guys can see that this folder is empty. So what we want to do is to initialize a node application and to do this, you just do NPM in it. Okay. So that's going to initialize a node application with a package.json file. And that's what we want to do. Now, if you have Node.js installed, then this command will work for you. If you don't have it, then this command won't work. So make sure you have Node.js installed. And I'm going to press enter here and this is going to ask us some questions. So it's asking me if the package name Node.js API is fine. I'm just going to say that's fine. The version is fine. The description we're going to put, let's say Node.js API with Express and MySQL or something like that. And then press enter entry point. So that's the main entry point of the application, like the file that's going to start the application. I'm going to leave index.js and test command. I don't have anything yet. Git repository. I don't have one keyword. Um, we can put node.js express my SQL and we can also put API press enter author. This is me and license i don't have one and it's gonna show us a snapshot of the file that's gonna be creating and then i'm just gonna go ahead and say yes to that so if i clear the screen now and list everything you can see now we have the package.json then that's gonna manage the dependency for us so let's go ahead and go inside of this file and see what we have so everything we have in here is everything that we specify so the name the version the description the main file so that's the index.js and then we have some script here we're gonna come back to this in a second and then we have our keywords and then the author and the license. So pretty much everything that we specify, you just put it inside of this file. Now, the next thing we need to do since we have a package.json file is to install the dependencies that we're going to need. So let's go out and let's go ahead and install some dependencies. And to do this, you do npm install or I, and we're going to need the express library. We're going to need the MySQL. Um, we're going to need course. So I don't know if I'm going to be building a front end for this in a later tutorial or something like that, but just so that we have it, just add course and I'm going to need that ENV so that we can load environment variable and I'm going to use IP. The IP library, we're just going to use it to show the IP address of the server the node application is running on. So instead of like localhost or something or just, uh, you know, show the port, I like to see the actual IP address of the server so that I know exactly where my application is running. And I'm going to show you how we're going to use this in a second. And then for some logging, I'm going to be using Pino and Pino Pretty. So I'm just going to put those in there. So Pino Pino pretty. And I'm also going to show you how we're going to use this as well, which is pretty useful. Whenever you have a backend application, you want to have a log and, you know, possibly put the log inside of a file. And then if something goes wrong in the application, then you can go ahead and check it later. So I'm going to press enter of this. And depending on your internet connection or whatever, that can take some time. But for me, it was pretty quick. And the next thing I want to install is Nodemon. So let's do npm install but I'm going to install it as a dev dependency. So I'm going to put dash capital D and then I'm going to do Nodemon. So Nodemon is going to be watching our file for our development. And that's why I'm putting it in the dev dependency and not an actual dependency that the application needs to run in a production environment. So npm install dash D for a dev dependency and then Nodemon. And just going to press enter on that one as well. Okay, so everything is installed. I'm gonna clear the screen. Now, if we take a look at everything that we have, we should have a node module folder. As you can see here, that's where all of our dependencies are. So let's go ahead and open this file again. So package.json file and see what we have. So you can see now we have this dependency object and you can see all the dependencies that we specify as well as the dev dependency. As you can see here, that's a node mon. you can see down here. So we have all of our dependencies installed. And the next thing I want to do is to specify some script. Now the script, we need them so that we can run the application or build the application or deploy it or whatever. And the first one that I want to add is the one to start the dev server. So I'm going to put start and dev. Um, usually people would just put dev. I like to put start dev. And what I'm going to do is to just change everything in here. I'm going to add the node environment. So I'm going to put node underscore env and set this equal to dev. Now, this is something that I'm adding. Oops. This is supposed to be 
equal. So this dev that I'm adding is really just a variable that I'm defining in the process as an environment variable. So this is something that I'm making up. So there is no actual node environment. I'm just creating this node environment and then putting inside of the process as a, as an environment variable. And I can access it in the application if I want. So later in the course, if we need to make a decision on whether or not we are in dev or in prod or some other environment, then we can use this node environment and determine its value and then see what we want to do with that. You know, whether it's if it's dev or prod or something like that. But it's not really required. And I don't even think that this will work on Windows. So if you're on Windows, you can just not put this. I think there's another way to do it in Windows, but in, you know, Unix based operating system, it's going to work. And I like to define it in case I want to make a decision um, depending on what environment that I'm in. So that's why I like to define node environment. And you can give it another name as well. I just like to call it node environment. And what we're going to do is to call nodemon and then we're going to um, point it to the source. We don't have that folder yet and in that index.js. So the index.js is the file that we're going to have as our main entry point. And what I'm going to do is just copy this and paste it down. I'm going to just change the dev to prod. So I'm going to change this to prod and also change this to prod. And instead of node mon, we're just going to call node and then point it again to the same file, which is the, inside the source index.js. Now, another thing you would see here is another script to build the application. You know, they would call it something, something build or just build. But in our case, we're using JavaScript and we don't really have anything to build. You can just throw JavaScript at the JavaScript engine and it's just going to run the JavaScript files. So I don't really have a build process. I mean, I could come up with something just so I can show you that we can actually have a, an in-between phase or a build phase, but an, I don't have a build phase. I'm just going to start a dev server and then whenever we deploy the application or whenever we're testing prod, then we're just going to start the prod server, which in this case, the only difference is in one we're using nodemon and the other one we're just using node and the environment variable is different. So two script start prod and then start dev. And those are the two scripts that I'm going to be using for this time. And another thing I want to do is to define the type. So I like to define the type as module so that I can use import. And I'm going to talk about this a little bit more. So I'm going to do type and then set it to module. So we're going to say type and then module just like that. So what this is going to allow us to do is to import things like from one file to another using the import keyword instead of the require. And I just like the import better. So you can keep using require and then uh, that should work just fine. That's just my preference. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll up, make sure everything looks good. So um, this is all good and our scripts looks good. Uh, keyword and then we have all of our dependencies and everything else. So I think at this point we are ready in terms of creating our script and installing our dependencies. So now let's go ahead and create this folder, this source folder, as you can see, I'm referencing here and see if we can spin off our first node server.